device number four will be above the cathode, at the cathode. And what those do, that slice of pie that was in there, is not feeding these things, four of them. Remember, the four quarters of the building. Okay, we're going to grab switchboard number two, so this is being fed from slice number two. What this does, what this whole thing does, it now starts to distribute the electricity out to your building. It goes to your lighting system. It goes to your DBCSs. It goes to your mail processing. It goes to everything that's feeding everything in that quarter of the building. It's coming from here and it starts to spread out the electricity to that quadrant of the building. Your emergency circuit is on, on distribution switchboard uh, two and three. It's not on every switchboard. It's not on every slice of pie. This is why. Here's your automatic transfer switch. This is the one that's always sensing if you got a loss of power. This is the one that's going to let your generator come on in the event of an emergency. Once it senses it, you'll only have this type of setup here at distribution board two and number three. You won't have it on number one and four. Because what it does, is, think of electricity, it's, it's gonna come in, but then it's gonna get distributed. So these two areas, they're monitoring a loss of power, all right? So when it detects a, a loss of power in, in switchboard two or three, it's gonna say, start your generator, and then that seven seconds goes by, and then you're going to hear a, a mechanical closure. Boom. That electricity now goes out to all of your, what they call, they call uh, distribution panels, designated with the letter E. You, know, you, you often hear me, hey, where's that panel? What's, what, what panel serves that DB? What panel serves that pinnacle? What panel serves the, the panels are identified by uh, letterings. Like you'll have, a, if it's 480, it'll be H. First floor, H1, and column number. Or if it's a low voltage, 200 volts, it's L. And then the floor number. Emergency circuits are di different designation. You'll know them by the letter E. E, it'll say E2, and then column number. There's only, they're all on the second floor. And there's only, I think, a total of six. So six E panels. I could be wrong. Might be less or more. I think there's six, and they're all they're all on the second floor. The reason why is because for that E panel, it also serves the third and first floor. It, it'll it'll be circuit breakers for your stairways and for your lighting circuits on the on all three floors. Lighting circuits is not every circuit. It's an emergency circuit. So not every lighting. You'll have that dim blue light, you know, that romantic light. You'll only have a few lights on. You know, one way to find out if it's an emergency lighting is you shut off, you shut off all of your lights. Whatever's on, that's on the E panel. And on this one, you'll see, you'll see uh, E2, K4, E2, G. So you, these are the panels that they're going out to. So this is the one that's that's giving us the emergency lighting through the emergency generator. Is that that the panel thinks there are six. And there's another one down the way too. Is that the column number E2 J10? Uh, E2 meaning emergency E2. panel okay. second floor E2. column J10. Yeah, that's how you can know where the panel location is. If I say L2 H4. H4, H4, and it's a it's a L L is uh, 208 volts to 120. We call that low voltage. High H panel will be 480 to 77. 480 volts slash 277. L is 208 slash 120. Yeah. And and you'll have the same scenario. Let's go to the next slide.
Remember the quarters of the building? Why are they all in here? Yeah. Why? Go. But, but that. Uh, I thought you. I thought there was communication with the louvers. Yeah. Yeah.